As I have already mentioned in previous videos, we are aiming at optimizing our machine learning model by choosing the best fitting hyperparameters for the given dataset. But what exactly does this mean, optimizing the hyperparameters of a model? Let's look at a very simple example. First, imagine you want to draw a linear function such that it fits some random data points. As you know, a linear function can be denoted as f of x equals to a times x plus b, where x is the input to our function. Now, if we change the values of a and b, we know that the line will look different. We now do this until the line fits the random given one. In this case, a and b are our parameters. Those are, however, just parameters as they are changed during training, or in our case, fitting the line. Most machine learning algorithms come with a set of different parameters that you can choose before you start any of its training. We call them hyperparameters. As an example, you want to create a good model that predicts your job based on simple yes and no question. A possible hyperparameter for this model could be the maximum number of questions that you can ask. Let's say one model can only have a maximum number of 3 questions, whereas another model can have up to 20 questions. Different hyperparameter settings will achieve different performance, and sometimes you might be surprised about which settings is actually the best one. Now, you could obviously just go with 5 different settings and check which one is the best, and assume that you find the best possible model with those 5 settings. As the number of possible settings you want to try out grows bigger, however, it will become a bit more cumbersome. Therefore, we aim at automating this process a little by setting up a so-called grid of hyperparameters. This really just is a collection of possible hyperparameters that you want to try out, and they can come as lists or ranges for individual parameters. But the idea here is that you're not just inserting some combinations into your code, but you think of a good collection of hyperparameter values for each individual parameter. The chosen machine learning algorithm can be seen as a hyperparameter itself as well, by the way. This means that you could specify a number of different algorithms to try out as well. As a next step, you will now search your entire grid that you have just specified. This can be done by a number of nested for loops over your defined values, or by creating all possible combinations of hyperparameter settings and then iterating over them. This procedure will now wrap around your model training and evaluation methods and report the performance of all different hyperparameter settings. The process of searching over your grid is simply called grid search, and the process of looking for the best possible combination of hyperparameters is called hyperparameter tuning. Now it is important to note here that you will need to define your performance metrics to fit your task or need. After all, grid search and cross-validation, which we discussed in the previous video, both can only report the performance metrics that you specify in the beginning, and therefore the overall quality of your machine learning model strongly depends on your choice of metric. In a lot of cases, the choice of performance metrics is rather straightforward. In a bit, I will introduce you to the most common metrics relevant for examples and exercises in this course, and looking at more than just one metric is also a good idea. Ok, you have now learned about hyperparameter tuning using grid search, and also know how to perform cross-validation for a good evaluation setting of your machine learning models. However, you are still left with manual work of specifying hyperparameter values and which algorithms you want to use. While this is common practice, there is the possibility of automating that process as well, AutoML. AutoML, short for Automated Machine Learning, is yet another active research area where the aim is to develop algorithms which are capable of finding the best possible machine learning algorithm with the best possible hyperparameter values. There already exist tools that provide you with easy to implement methods to perform AutoML, such as AutoSKLearn, H2O AutoML, the Google AutoML Cloud Service, AutoWeeker, and many more. We will not dive deeper into the topic of AutoML, however, as the goal of this course is to make you familiar with the fundamentals of machine learning, including the correct evaluation setting, training, hyperparameter tuning, and so on. And therefore, you will learn about task-specific evaluation metrics in our next video.